All right, we're gonna go pick up some antlers. I've got four days carved out to go hit a spot that I've been glassing all winter. I've got a number of waypoints of where these bulls have probably wintered. So hopefully in this video, we get to pick up some browns. It has been an awesome year so far. The year started out with me sitting on some bulls, them dropping pretty much right in front of me. I was able to go grab my dad and we were able to pick up two just beautiful browns right out of the gate. That's awesome, let's go. <laughs> and then we were able to pick up the biggest brown antler I've ever picked up. Oh, all right, here we go. Oh man, dad. <laughs> You're carrying this back. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at the size of that beast. That was an absolute rush. And the weekend after that, I was able to pick up three browns, uh, one of the two of those being a set. Here it goes. Shed number one. Beautiful color on them. And 10 yards away, we've got this one. Nothing quite like that. It's been an awesome year so far. So let's go see if we can add more brown antlers to our pile. All right guys, we made it. We're gonna start shed hunting. Let's go find something. Quick check-in, we're at mile five and a half and if we've got our first shed. Not exactly the brown that we were after, but don't be hasty. Check this out. Boom. <laughs> Let's go see this thing. Whew. Deep snow. All right, all right. Looks like a hard white, maybe a little bit older. It looks like a nice six point. All right, not bad, not bad. I think he's a little older than I was expecting. He's probably three, maybe four years old, especially because he's on this north face right here. But not a bad six, kind of a cagey guy, but let's go. Shed number two is a two point. That's my first forky of the year. Let's go. Had to step on this one. Shed number three. Dang, this might be one of the oldest sheds I've ever found. Yeah, I'm gonna toss that. Goodbye. All right guys, I'm pushing through this burr field. My pants are completely covered in burrs. Uh, it's approaching last light here, and I'm convinced that there is a brown elk shed, like, right here. I just cannot find it. I've been gritting back and forth. The sign is perfect. I, I think there's a brown antler in here. I've just probably walked past it. Uh, I don't know why you guys follow this channel if I walk past browns, but whatever. Maybe you should unsubscribe. But <laughs> I did happen to look across the canyon. Check this out. All right, looking across the canyon here, and do you see what I see? That's a shed, baby. Let's go see what it looks like. All righty. Um, I decided to grid out this hill that I was at before I headed across the canyon, and I've got another shed. Pretty funky looking one. Check this out. It's right there. Let's go check it out. I'll tell you guys, one of the best things for shed hunting is stiff boots for these side hills. I spend 90% of my days. Oh my goodness, is it a brown?
Check this out. Oh, it's a sucker bull. It doesn't have any brow tines. That's the first sucker bull I've ever found. <laughs> that is so dope. Look at that thing. <laughs> Me loaf. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is freaking awesome, man. Check that out. Check that out. All right, guys. Super special moment here. I've never found a sucker bull. Uh, and this is actually a beautiful public land Montana bull. I have stoked right now to pick this up. It looks like it's a hard white. Check this out. <laughs> that is so cool. So what, it must have sat on the elk's head or no, I think maybe the bait, the burr was kind of more on his forehead. That is so wicked cool. <laughs> oh my goodness. Always wanted a sucker bull. Ah, oh man. Check that out. I don't even know how to show you this base. The Shed Straps logo is not a sucker bull or the Epoch Outdoors. <laughs> so freaking cool. All right, we're running out of light. Pretty stoked that I found this guy as a hard white. He was in some pretty thick stuff, so I don't know if he ever would have gotten found. Pretty cool. All right, let's go pick up this other one before we lose light. Geez, this is almost as bad as ticks. I said almost, but uh, there it is, guys. It looks like it's a small seven point. All right. It's actually getting a tad bit bigger as I'm getting up here. That's a nice bull. <laughs> All right. That is a stud. That's a stud. <laughs> That's awesome. That is so cool, check out that seven point. All right, that is awesome. All right guys, sun is going down, but this is my 20th shed of the year and my first seven point of the year. Check that thing out. That royal with that seven point, oh, come on. That is so awesome. Look at that thing. Check out the base. It's a good, it's a good sized base. It's actually a little bit small. This guy. <laughs> yes. That's, that's awesome. All right, a thought just occurred to me. Uh, could they be matches to each other? Uh, this is a left side. This is a right side. This one, this one just looks substantially bigger in terms of the mass, but let's try it on for size really quick. I don't think so. I think these are, I think these are two different bulls. It's hard to tell though, because this guy is a sucker bull, uh, but just like the shape of the Royal and just the overall mass and weight, it's just not giving me the, yeah, I don't think they're a set. Check out these bases. I don't think we have a set. So that means there was two fairly big bulls just wintering up on this cliff. Love shed hunting so much. Here we are at dusk in Montana. The moon, the moon is probably three fourths of the way full. There's an incredible scene behind you that you can't see, unfortunately or fortunately, and um, this is why I do it. Moments like this, it just strikes a chord with your soul, you know? And uh, these are just added bonuses. They're, they're little gifts, they're little Easter eggs that you just get to go find in the wild. Um, 
there's a lot of shed hunting channels out there today and uh, shed hunting is becoming more and more popular. I think my motto should is gonna be for my channel that uh, please unsubscribe, dislike, and don't share this video because shed hunting doesn't need to get any more popular. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. I want everyone to be able to share in this joy if they also find joy in it. So, um, all right, let's get out of here before it gets too dark. We're gonna kill ourselves getting out of here. All right, I made it back to the car and uh, I could open my door and I totally left the key in my car door. Oh, ah. Around 13.3 miles today and we got the boys home. Yeah, we did. So now we got to figure out how to get the sleep out here with these pointy things in my car. So. All right guys, we got our little camping set up here. Today is taco meat with rice, and I'm just gonna cook it over the stove. We're gonna see if we can get this cooked. Let's go. Now we're gonna go to bed. I'm zonked, so we get to do it all again tomorrow. I'm really debating, do we go back to the same spot uh, that I was at tonight? Because I think I was just about, I was just finding out what those bulls are doing in that area. Or do I continue on with my plan uh, and hit this other spot that I want to hit? I don't know what to do, but tomorrow Bruce will decide. Good morning. Sun is just coming up and uh, I've decided that we are going to switch spots. So. Let's eat something and get going. I was just thinking to myself, there has to be some antlers in here. The sign is way too good. It's got pretty fresh bull poop. We have rubs. I was just, I'm trying to figure this out. And I found a part of an antler. I don't know what that counts as. Oh, very interesting. All right, well, let's go see if we can find a full antler. They're in here, I just, uh, Oh, what is that? What in the world? Oh, no way. Look at that. All right, oh, well, we've got chunks of an antler. Let's go see if we can find a full one. <laughs> Guys, I've been pretty confused. I saw like probably 15 bulls in here. They're all pretty small. Um, so I came up here today, we've been gritting, we've seen great sign and we just could not pick up an antler. I was just so confused. Um, I just decided to go higher. I was like, I have no idea where these things are. I'm just gonna take off higher and uh, just gritted the, the south faces, nothing there. I said, well, let's just check the north faces just, just for kicks. We got our first brown antler of the day. Check this out. This is the view that you want to see. Boom. 
All right, that is awesome. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> oh man, that is awesome. Just what I wanted to find today. Just when I thought I probably wasn't gonna find any antlers today. <laughs> oh man. First browning of the trip, first browning of the day. Here we go. I love when they're just a little bit buried in the snow. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, here we go. Oh, he was locked in there. That's pretty cool. Got a beautiful royal, beautiful color. Dang. Looks pretty fresh, really. Um, pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. That's awesome, guys. Let's keep going. I was walking through this forest here, and uh, I think I have my first nice brown mule deer shed. Let's go see it. This was the view right here. Put up my binos. Boom. <laughs> oh, it's a side-by-side -side set. No way. That's awesome. I love finding them like that. Otherwise, you never find them. Man, I seem to always find my mule deer sets or mule deer antlers side-by-side. -side. All right. No, he's a he's a 4 by 4 Oh, beautiful chocolate color. Oh, man. Okay, there, that, that side's four. This side looks like it's three. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. First mule deer set of the year. Oh, they're just so perfect. I don't even want to disturb them. Okay, here's number one. Beautiful chocolate color. Holy cow. Here's number two. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> He's such a beautiful color. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> it's crazy because we actually found a really nice mule deer set almost exactly a year ago, probably 100 yards away. And I think this is a different mule deer. So there must be a bunch of mule deer bucks just up in here wintering. So uh, that's pretty cool. But let's keep going. We're on mile 7.6. <laughs> and I'm getting kind of tired. But uh, we've got a lot left to hit today. So let's keep going. Well guys, I'm just sitting here taking in the view. It is just, it's breathtaking. It almost brings me to tears. Like, sheds are just a bonus on top of it. Every single time. I just, I feel so lucky to be out here. I feel so lucky to have the time and the resources and the drive and the healthy body to do this. It's pretty amazing. Um, Anyways, uh, I need to eat something pretty bad. So let's go eat something. Or let's get back to the car first. How about that? All right, we ended at 11.82 miles and three antlers. All righty, gang, time to cook some dinner. It's been a long day. Uh, I think I was a little bit tired today, just from yesterday and probably just lack of general food. Um, tomorrow, though, is going to be the best day yet. Um, tomorrow, my dad is coming out, and I saved a really good spot for him and I, or him and me, and um, it's going to be epic. I cannot wait. I've seen can bulls consistently in this spot, a lot of bulls, so I have big hopes for tomorrow. Yeah, I'm starving. Let's get something to eat. Ah. 
All right, guys, that is a wrap on day two. Tomorrow is going to be exciting, so I will see you then. Alrighty guys, day two is off to a start. So I'm gonna drive to a new spot today. I'm gonna meet my dad and we're gonna go look for some antlers in an area that I've seen a crap ton of elk. So let's get to it. All right guys, first shot of the day. Good job, Dad! And the other side! Hold him up, Dad! Good job, Dad! That looks like a lion killed me. That's crazy. All right guys, we've done a lot of miles, gained a lot of elevation, second shed of the day. Looks like that, chalk raghorn. Yep, we should go hang it in a tree. <laughs> this is the first real bull, fresh bull sign that we've seen all day. And we're on mile five and we're just getting into it. There's a shed up here. We just gotta find it. Gotta find <laughs> Jeez. It. My shed radar, my shedar is going through the roof right now. We're on mile 9.27, at least I am. And that is the site that we see, a side-by-side -side set. That's about as close as they get. I was just taking the path of least resistance out of here. My dad was all excited. He was up on this hill and I just thought, I'm gonna stick to the bottom of this canyon. <laughs> and somehow I just lucked into the side-by-side -side set. That, that was the cherry on top of this gorgeous bluebird day. So check this out. Oh man. Kind of a small six, almost. Mostly just a five point though. Beautiful color. Oh, that is so cool. That's awesome. Here we go. There's one. There's two, just a nice five by five, almost a uh, six by six. Give them one more year. Check out those, and those bases. What an awesome way to remember this day. That's awesome. Mm. Well, praise God, Bruce. Mm -hmm. I, could, I could see them up there, which was just amazing. And they they were visible. Just visible. On every shed trip, I bring a Snickers bar, like a like a king size Snickers bar. And whenever I find the shed or a shed, uh, uh, my reward is my candy bar. So I get to break into my Snickers bar now. All right, we took two more steps. There's a chalk antler here. Oh wow, that is really, really chalky. I mean, that is older than the dinosaurs. In fact, this might be one of those evolutionary elk 
in between dinosaur and an elk. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to pack that one out. <laughs> uh, this one will stay right here. You can kind of see we're at the bottom of a canyon here. And uh, we're trying to figure out how these elk are living here. I'm wondering if they are using that side to bed of the canyon and then feeding on the south slope on the other side of the canyon. That's the second time that I've seen a bachelor group of elk or found sheds of elk using that strategy, using the bottom of a canyon instead of like the top of a ridge. It's the same idea, it's just a little bit different. So that that's really interesting, keep that in mind. I haven't heard that anywhere, that's just a hypothesis that I'm building. You know, I found those elk antlers on a completely, just completely random line. I've been strategizing for 10 miles on where to go and how to hit things and what to hit. And finally we just ran into boot tracks and I was like, ah, this, this place has already been hit. My strategy's probably already been executed. So then I was like, all right, let's just go to the North Face. The North Face has been hit as well. So I just chose a completely random line and there was an elk set on it. It almost makes me wonder if just a completely random line is just as good as the line that you think through all day and strategize over. All right, so it is about seven and we're on mile 11 and a half. At this point, we're just motoring because we've got a long ways out and we got to get back. So time to put down some miles. All right, guys, made it back to the car. Did about 13 miles today. Thanks for doing that with me, Dad. You bet. But he has to get home, so um, goodbye, Dad, and... Let's get going. All right, guys, I think I'm actually gonna cut it short. I uh, plan to do another half day tomorrow, but I think it just makes sense to call it quits. Don't think I could get into the elk zone again. That's a, was a lot of hiking to get back in there today, and I don't think I've got the time tomorrow, and I've gotta get home um, to my wife and my baby and get ready for work. So uh, this is what we pulled. We did about 35, 36 miles over the past three days. I'm pooped, but uh, it was an absolute blast. I had so much fun. We, we found some of the most unique sheds I think I've ever found, um, including this sucker bull, which was just, that was so freaking cool. And then uh, this seven point was just, that was, that was such a surprise to me. Um, I feel like I learned a bunch and had an absolute blast. It's hard with these shed hunting videos because I think probably 80% of the experience is in the views and where you go and just the beauty that's all around you as you look for these Easter eggs of the forest. And I think that you miss that when a shed hunting video because you just can't share your location. So while we can enjoy these antlers together, um, you guys are missing just a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> a lot of fun is being had, a lot of beauty is being seen and uh, that I can't necessarily show or shouldn't necessarily show. That being said, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you unsubscribe, dislike this video, and don't share it. We don't need shed hunting becoming more popular than it already is. Um, and that also helps this video get no views, which is exactly why I make it in the first place. So thank you for following along, and I will see you in the next shed hunting video.